when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know is that this is 4F Beauty and hopefully you're watching me in black and white right now because this is the continuation of my pick series. I believe we might be up on episode 40 by now. But what I do know for definite is that it is round four with the beautiful Chelsea, my YouTube daughter. So, if you want to find it. Hello. Just, just cleaning things. <laughs> He's got a little bit paranoid with the Zyflora. I wouldn't mind, but he did all this last night when he got in. And no one's been in or out of the house since. I didn't do the handles. I don't think I did the handles. Did I do the handles? Uh-huh. Oh. Did I do the handles? Yeah. Yeah, I did. As I was saying, or trying to say, this is why I don't film when hubby is around. Because my two minute intro becomes a four minute intro. If you want to find out exactly what the photo is that has inspired both mine and Chelsea's looks today and what this looks like in glorious Technicolor then my friend, you, you have the best seat in the house. So, as I have said for some time now and oft here echoed on other channels Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up and enjoy. Because here it comes. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Okay, I would have told you in the intro that this is another one of my pick series with the lovely Chelsea. Um, my turn to choose the photo, so basically I sent her a load of photos through and she chose this one which I've got on my phone as you can see it's a gorgeous I'd say Bavarian castle in the snow at probably I'd say that's dawn because you can see the sun reflecting on the side of it. So if you look, you've got the snow looks that beautiful pale blue. Then you've got the sky, which is pink and apricot and lavender. But then if you look at the castle, if you look at the, the facing end of the castle, it's glowing a yellow gold where the sunlight is on it, where the sun is coming up. So, that is such a pretty picture. I'm so glad she chose that one for us. And I can't wait to get going. Now, I'm going to use my jawbreaker to utilise some of the more pastel -y shades out of this. Now, obviously, these are not as pastel pastel as pastel can be. But... I think for what I want, because you know what I'm like with colour, um, I think this is going to work really well. And then I'm going to use the 24 karat palette and use Liberace for the sunlight on the front of the castle. Because I just think that will look stunning. Now, this is still a teaching channel. As such, I go at the sort of speed that complete beginners can keep up with me. If that is not fast enough for you, there is a speed widget up there somewhere. Feel free to use it. Um, as I have done for some time now, I always 
talk to you about the difference between deep set eyes and hooded lids. It is something that I noticed from very, very early days that a lot of people were getting them mixed up. And the work around for deep set eyes, which is what I've got, very, very different to the work around for hooded lids. And a lot of people with deep set eyes are saying, oh, I've got hooded lids, and they're following the hooded lid tutorial. And they're wondering why they're not getting the same results. Now, I'm about to insert a clip, which for those of you who've not seen it before, it's very up close and personal. It is very much just my eyes. Um, that will talk you through how to work out which type of lid you have. And it will also tell you the workarounds for each type. Okay? Once that clip has finished playing, I will be back to put some of these on here. So, here's your clip. Now, um, my eyes have this primer on it. This is the Crown Pebble Primer in blank page cotton. I do have a discount code for this. It is not affiliated. I don't earn money from it. But if you use my code, you save, I think it's 15%. And I earn pebbles that I can offset against future purchases from them. The reason I love the Chrome Pebble Primer is because it's it goes on like a cream, but it has a powdery finish. So unlike when you use a concealer or like a MAC paint pot, for example, you have the trade-off between do I set it so I can blend easily or do I leave it tacky so that I get the full impact of colour. You don't have that trade-off with this. You can blend on it instantly and you don't lose any of the colour. Now she does six different shades of this at the moment. White is the lightest. The deepest two are a chocolate brown and a black. Then there are three different skin tone shades as well, so you should be able to find one that will work for you. Um, I apply this with a flat brush, just a very light layer, and then I buff it over with a fluffy blending brush to take any excess off and to make sure I've got a nice even layer across the eye. Now, I've got deep set eyes, so I get the same issues that people with hooded lids get. I get transference of colour onto the upper lid. If I'm cutting my crease, I have to cut onto the upper lid, not just through the socket. And if I'm using glitter, even with glitter glue, I get a bare patch in the middle. Because people with hooded lids get the same symptoms as people with deep set eyes. I see a lot of people with deep set eyes thinking they have hooded lids when they don't. So they follow the guidelines for hooded lids and wonder why their eyes still don't look right. So I'm going to explain very easily for you how to tell the difference and what the two workarounds are. With my brows relaxed and looking straight forward, you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. You can't see a lot of it, but you can see it. So I haven't got hooded lids. It's only if this upper lid comes down and completely covers part or all of the mobile lid that you have a full or a half hooded lid or what's known as a mono or an Asian eye. I'm going to demonstrate on this eye deep set eyes because this is the eye that I'm blind in so I'll stay on screen and in focus. If I cover a visible mobile lid close my eye you can see I've got as much if not more lid that tucks back away out of sight and if I do the same on the top lid the static lid you can see I've got about the same amount of lid again that tucks back away out of sight when the eyes open and it's those two bits of lid rubbing together that give me same issues that hooded lids get. So, what are the workarounds? If you have hooded lids, get a brush, something like this, or a pencil brush, 
sketch out on your static lid where you want your new crease to fall. Now obviously that's going to reduce the space between the crease and the brow. So just use smaller blending brushes or if necessary take the colour right up to the brow instead of leaving a gap. If you have deep set eyes like myself, all we need to do when we're putting the colour through the crease, which nine times out of ten will be the deepest colour that we're using, just sit back, relax your brows and make sure you've brought it up high enough that you can see it when your eyes are open. So, two very different workarounds for two very different types of lids, but that have very similar issues. Hey, I am back. Okay. I'm going to be using Contour Brush 9 from one of the AliExpress sets that I recommend to you. That's listed in my description box of which brushes I recommend. And I'm going to go into Jaw Breaker. Oh, I haven't used this palette enough, you know. I went through a phase of buying very bright palettes and just... I need to play with this one a little bit more, I think. It's beautiful. Beautiful it is now then. Right, now the thing is, I think the blue is going to come across deeper than the lilac. I don't know, I might be able to get away with that. Right, whereas I normally sew from the top down, I'm actually going to work from the crease up today. And I'm going to start off in Gumdrop, which is the lilac. Mm. Shh, phone. And I've got the brush coated, I've tapped off well because I'd much rather keep dipping back in and, and building up colour than have a huge amount of fallout to deal with. Holding the brush right at the end as normal. Yes, I've got effectively these are my natural nails now. The, I've had to take the acrylic off the top and everything. So, naked now, well, naked apart from of nail varnish. So I'm actually going to start right down at the crease today but I'm still going to start with circular movements going in this direction towards the nose, a bit of a bounce when I get there and then reverse in the direction to come back again. I will actually do a, a bit of a windscreen wiper as well but will mainly be doing circulars. Now the reason I do this is because I'm quite literally about two and a half weeks away from being 46. I've lost to over 14 stone which is over 200 pounds. So the skin on my eyelids moves. And by very gently doing circular movements like this we're gently moving the skin on our legs without putting too much pressure on, remember? So that we don't get that tiger striping or barcoding effect. Now, I do get that with this side because can you see these super deep creases here? They were caused by the ophthalmic hospital pulling my eye around when I was five years old. So 40 odd years ago and now the damage is being seen. So if that doesn't tell you to not pull your eyes around, nothing will. Um, what I normally do is I don't worry too much about um, the mat being barcode because normally once I pop the shimmer onto the lid it will cover that bit anyway. Um, but I do have to apply the shimmer in a little bit of a different way then I would recommend you to do so and that I do on this eye. So, I must admit, when I bought this um, Jawbreaker palette, I'd still been craving the Kat Von Disease Pastel Goth, but people were wanting so much money for it. And then of course when she came out with her anti-vax nonsense and all the stuff then came out about 
her anti-Semitism and everything. I just decided, that's husband blowing his nose if you can hear that. I just decided that I was not featuring her on my channel so there was no point buying it. But there was still something about that pastel goth palette. But then, Prularoe did a film where she compared the pastel goth to the jawbreaker and they were super similar so I don't feel the need to to buy the pastel goth anymore because it is still appearing on places like Depop and eBay and you know Facebook selling sites right so that's the lilac on I'm gonna go in I think with the apricot which is well, let's just say it rhymes with duck, but has a slightly different first letter. If you're wondering why I waggled my eyebrows then, it was hubby waving at me as he went out to the bathroom. Um, yeah, it, it rhymes with duck. But it's the preceding letter of the alphabet. I'll explain later. Okay. I'll leave it here. Yep. Um, and I'm going to use this and I'm just going to start blending out the edge of this lilac with it in exactly the same way we've just been doing and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Chelsea now she is my official YouTube adopted daughter I've decided I adopted her a little while ago I'm not sure her actual mam thinks about that but you know but she really is, she's, that girl is so talented, I say girl, young woman, which is, technically I am old enough to be her mother, so yeah, that girl, she is so, so talented, um, she's got much less lid space to work with than I have, and yet she still produces some of the most stunning eye looks. I really can't wait to see what she's done um, for this collab um, because I know it's going to be stunning. I know it is. She's just, she's a really sweet, good natured young lass from up north who enjoys makeup and enjoys colourful makeup. And I love that. I absolutely love it. We've done quite a few collabs together, both in big group collabs and um, I think this is our fourth pick collab together now. And it's it's always a delight collabing with her. She's always so enthusiastic as well, which I love. And she's, she's just a genuinely nice person. And you can't say that about many people nowadays. You know? She, she's just such a lovely person. I'm really happy to call her my friend on here. I really am. Oh, by the way, in between these colours, I did... <laughs> I did colour switch the brush on a clean microfiber cloth. And I'm, I've cleaned the brush off again. I'm just going to use this to just gently buff where the two colours meet. Just to ensure we've got the perfect seamless blend. Now, which one of these two pink? do I want to go in with? See that's going to be very similar to that but that's going to be too light. And Snack is a shimmer. Hmm. I think I'm going to do a combination of Good Morning and Bubblegum. So, 
Good morning. A little bit of bubble gum to give me just a lovely light pink, just to really just soften this top edge here. I do struggle here sometimes, here and here, getting pigments to actually stay put because I get um, dry patches just there on my eyelid. So I'm just using this to very gently buff. the edge of the apricot out. This has got to be one of the most subtle looks I have ever done. But I've got to be honest, I'm quite liking it. <sighs> so how are you all coping with this lockdown? Pretty much the whole world's locked down now. I, think. I don't think there's anywhere that hasn't got either a lockdown or a stay in place order or a quarantine or Whatever your country's calling it. It's, um, it's currently Easter Sunday when I'm filming this. And it's really weird that I've not heard the church bells ring. I've, this is the first time in my entire life that I've not heard the church bells on Easter Sunday. Um, which, wait a minute, is, is, it's quite difficult. Um, you know, seeing the church standing so empty, it's just, a friend of mine shared something on Facebook, that both churches and casinos are closed, so if heaven and hell agree, you know it's got to be bad. I think she's got a point. Right, I'm going to clean this brush off and I'm going to go in with a slightly more tapered one. I might actually try it, my pencil brush because I want to have a lot of control over where I put this blue because I don't want to lose the lilac that I've done. You're looking confused, baby. I don't think you did. You didn't have it in your hand. And I'm currently drinking from a can, so. Right. Energetic drink. I've got one going as we speak, actually. Okay. You don't need this then, do you? Not at the moment, thank you. Right. Um, going in with. This is actually a Morphe brush. It was in um, one of their Christmas brush sets. I picked up about three years ago but it's actually not a bad brush so boom, I'm gonna go boom. <laughs> not that kind of brush not dazzle no oh <laughs> there are no inanimate foxes with somebody's hand up their chuffer no wonder he was so crazy oh we're very happy with someone with their hand up my chuffer <laughs> I'm so sorry, where is this conversation going? <laughs> As I was saying, how are you coping with your uh, lockdown where you are? Mm. I've got to admit, it's... Hubby's not really noticing much difference because where he's an essential worker, he still has to go into work. Because, you know, people's loos still need mending and, you know, stuff like that. I mean, there's a load of stuff that they don't sell at the moment that's classed as non-essential, so... You know, if, you, if you're wanting to do something home improvement wise that's not essential, like painting, you may not be able to pick up the paint, but if you need to... You can get it delivered. Hmm? Yes, oh. you can't pick it up. Okay, you can get it delivered, you just can't pick it up. But, um, I mean, thankfully there's... There's no customers actually allowed in store now, it's all click and collect. Which makes me feel a little bit safer. As you can see, I've done the outside edge of my mobile lid. A little bit here, because I'm going to have a bit of a halo eye, because I haven't done one for a while. 
and then just link the two together. Just making, I'm just going to blend that edge just ever so slightly to soften it into the lilac. And so that it shows a little bit more when my eyes open. There we go. Because I do have deep set eyes. This is such a subtle, pretty look for me. What on earth is going on? I must do a gothic one next or something. Mm -hmm. Feeling decidedly girly. Um, yeah, so Hubby's not really seeing much of a difference, except there's no customers in store, which he's loving because it means he can take the forklift out without having to, you know, put loads of barriers up and stuff. But, um... I'm just going to gently stretch my lid out here just to make sure that I get that deep crease covered otherwise what happens is it builds up loosely in that crease and then throughout the day it ends up sort of cascading down my face and into my eye but you can see I'm only stretching out the bit of the lid that has the deep creasing and as soon as I've covered it, I'm letting go. And then join the two together. This is where pencil brushes do come in extremely useful for doing this kind of detailed work. If you've got much less lid space and you're still finding that difficult, pick up something like this, which is an artist's brush. This is a tiny one that I use for doing my wing liner with, but um, I think I've got a one over and I can show you. Yeah. Grab an artist's brush, something like this. Because you can see the difference between the size. And just because it's an artist's brush doesn't mean you can't use it put makeup on with. As I said, I very often do that if I'm using um, a gel liner or if I'm using one of Jeffrey's mm -hmm. liquid lipsticks to do a liner with. Because all of his lipsticks are eye safe. I mean, technically the pink ones aren't, pink and red ones, but that's just because they'll stain. Yeah, so, I will finish off what I was saying. My mind goes in a million different directions at once. I'm on fibro. Either that or I've got late onset ADHD, one of the two. Um, yeah, so he's not really seen much of a difference. Obviously, there's fewer deliveries coming into the store, so it takes him less time to unload the lorries with his forklift. Um, but. Uh, I must admit, I'm finding it quite difficult at the moment because what little contact I was having with people, like, you know, chat with the posty when they deliver my post and the woman that delivers my meds and all that sort of thing, um, it's, that's all stopped. You know, they sort of, your post gets put on your doorstep and the postman's halfway up the path before you even get to the door kind of thing. Same way with your meds. Um, it's... Mm. I'm finding it very difficult, put it that way. Um, because what little contact I was having, I'm now not getting. Um, which... I'm not going to lie, it's very difficult. It's very difficult at the moment. Um, my levels of depression are ridiculous right now. Um, I'm even finding it difficult to film, which those of you who know me know how much I love my filming, know how much I love my makeup. Um, and I'm, I'm literally having days when I just, I can't film because it will look forced and that's not what I want. I want you to be able to enjoy what I'm doing. Right, I'm just going in with one of the Blush Tribe slanted brushes. 
into Liberace, which is the highlight in the 24 karat gold palette of Jeffries. This is obviously, everyone kept saying, oh, he's copied Rihanna, he's done a trophy wife, because it was around about the same sort of time, but, you know, if you know how long it takes makeup to be created and produced, the fact that two companies both bought out a gold highlight at the same time. So I'm just going to pop this. I'm not going to wet it because Jeffrey's highlighters are actually quite oily anyway. So they don't need wetting. Uh, that's why a lot of his get hard pan. I'm just going to pop this into the middle of my lid just to be the sunlight on the side of the castle. How pretty is that though? Um, if you're wondering why, as a, as Teresa as Deb would say, uncooked chicken skin person has the deeper darker highlight it. It's because I can use these two as shimmery bronzers. I can use these two as shimmery blushes. I very often use that as an inner corner and that actually is a universal highlighter. It works for all skin tones. So again I'm just making sure that the lid is flexed there when I put this on this side. There. This really is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Just bring that up the lid fractionally. There we go. Just so that it matches the other side. Because let's face it, girlies and boys, our eyes are not identical unless you're Jimmy Chuck and you photoshop them that way afterwards. Alright my lovelies, I am going to pause you while I go and put some foundation and whatnot on, do my brows etc. And I will be back to finish off this eye look with you. Now, unfortunately I'm going to have to wait for the next time that I press record to be able to speak to you. But for you sweetie pie, there will be absolutely no delay. You will see me instantly. Hey, I am back. Okay, I did my soap brow thing again, where I used the Revolution soap brow thing. The reason I use this rather than just a bar of soap and a spoolie is because the little toothbrush sized brush thing they've got is great for flicking up through your brows. Mm. And then just use this, dipped it into that first lilac and filled in the brows. Okay, so I'm getting my flat topped brush. Um, I'm going to go in actually with soaked, which is a brighter blue. And I'm just going to pop that right up as close as I can under my lashes. This is the easy side because I have peripheral vision. Other side, not so easy. Usually end up poking myself in the eye. Mm -hmm. 
just wanted a little bit deeper colour under the bottom lash line just to give a bit of added definition This is the brush from the Tarte Graveyard Girl palette. It's flat topped but it's chalky. I love this for blowing out the lower lash line. Yes, you can use um, an ordinary uh, smudger brush or um, a densely packed blender, but I just wanted to use this one because I like it. And I'm dipping into Brain Freeze, which is the blue. And I'm just going to use that to soften the lower lash line. Like so. And then I'm going to grab, this is basically a lip brush that I bought off of eBay probably a decade ago now. And I'm going to dip into a Jawbreaker and pop that right in the middle here. There's a real pump of colour. Of brightness. And do the same thing this side. I like to bring mine along under the tear duct and just blend it in with the colour that I've run under the eye. I just think for my eye shape that finishes it off nicely. That's lush. <laughs> And then going back into the 24 karat palette, I'm going to go into Sarcophagus. Just run that along the brows. Like so. Right. I'm going to pause you one last time. I'm going to put some more of this uh, sarcophagus over my face. I'm going to put some mascara on. I'm going to choose a lipstick, do something with my hair and I'll be back with the finished look. Again, instant for you. I am back. As you can see, hair's gone nuts again but then when doesn't it? Um, I used Sarcophagus as the highlight again. I used my little mini uh, It Superhero Mascara. Lippy is a combination between uh, ABH Peachy Matte Lipstick and Jeffrey's uh, Wet Peach Lip Gloss because I just think those two together really offset the eyes. So, here is the picture that was our inspiration. What do you think? How do you think I've done? Hmm? How would you have interpreted that picture? What colours would you have chosen if you were um, collabing with me on this particular photo inspiration? Hmm? Let me know. Um, regular 4F babies, please check you're still subscribed. YouTube are still lopping you off left, right and centre. And uh, not in a way that you're going to enjoy, sadly. <laughs> um, once you've done that, do please give this a like. It does help with the algorithm, getting it pushed out to other people. 
and don't forget to let me know what you think of this and how you would have interpreted that in the comments. Bless you darling. Hay fever, not the lager lurgy. Um, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if you are new to my channel, hi, hello, welcome, lovely to see you here. Uh, it'd be awesome if you too would like to join the 4F family, it's super easy to do, you hit that subscribe button, you turn it from red to grey, you jump through however many hoops YouTube asks you to at the moment to get notifications, and hopefully you'll get told at least, I don't know, one in four of my films that get put up, and uh, I'm not quite sure what hubby is doing right now apart from being noisy when I'm trying to film. <laughs> He's literally just stopped like a statue. Um, <laughs> in that case. Right, uh, I've got an awful lot of films you can watch. Uh, feel free to pick a playlist. Don't forget, of course, all my 4F lovelies, that you do need to go across to Chelsea's channel. And you do need to watch her film. And you need to give her the same love that you always show me in my comments section. She's an absolutely awesomely skilled young lady. And you are missing out if you are not subscribed to her. Now, as I have said, almost from the inception of my channel, and I'm now getting people saying, I'm hearing other channels saying what you say. So here it is from the original and best. Pick a playlist, grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up and indulge. Right my darlings, as ever, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I We'll see you next time. Bye for now.